At least two victims are fighting for their lives here in San Antonio at University Hospital. A 10 year old little girl and a 66 year old woman. This is the region's primary trauma care center, but it is a good 80 miles from Uvalde. So think about this. Families had to make this heartbreaking trek all the way here, all the while praying that their loved ones would survive. Other families did descend on the hospital there in Uvalde because some children were taken there. Tonight, police are standing guard outside that hospital as families walk in and out, many of them breaking down in tears. It is a tight knit community, and here's what a woman told one of the reporters on scene there. This woman used to work at that school. It's just breaking my heart. It's just breaking my heart. I just didn't ever expect anything like that to happen here in Wadley. And then the, the man, person that did this, he used to go to high school. I mean, he was going to high school here. He's, he was a high school student here. Right now? Right now. Is it just hard to put into words? I mean, I can yes. see it in your eyes. You're like, I was, I couldn't believe it. But, but I was watching. I found they said, no, I'm not going to watch anymore. I've, 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 I'm, it's I hard. don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's just so hard. And I said that was where I worked for, for 25 years. My husband's a principal. There. My son went to school there. Now that teacher we spoke of earlier in the newscast, Eva Morellis, her aunt did release a statement earlier tonight calling what happened senseless and saying she is furious that mass shootings like this continue to happen.